Police horses were punched and delegates spat on as chaos erupted outside a mining conference at the convention centre. Mark Santo Martino watched it unfold. Mark, there were ugly clashes and the protest is far from over. Unfortunately not, Peace. These protesters are threatening to do it all again tomorrow. What we saw today was nothing short of chaotic. All up, there were 50 arrests. Two of those have been charged with animal cruelty after allegedly slapping police horses in the face. Now, four police officers were injured. Three needed to be taken to hospital after being hurt while holding the line. But the force as a whole could come under fire after some of the protesters were hit with batons. Shooting capsicum spray in the widest of arcs, hitting protesters and bystanders alike. Outnumbered officers protect their own, dragging dissenters from the steps of Jeff's shed. Hey! For seven hours, 300 anti-mining socialists pushed back. Linking arms, they blockaded an international mining conference, as others chased after and terrorised delegates. <laughs> One woman was harassed to the point of tears on her way inside. Others were dragged to the ground. Before police started breaking rank to help those being targeted for wearing suits. This was one of 50 arrests. They interviewed me and let me go. I don't know why. Or... Frustrated officers stomped on hands, pushed protesters downstairs, drew and even used their batons against those unwilling to follow orders. There's been some incredibly aggressive and intimidating tactics from the police. Uh, meanwhile, we've got 7,000 criminals gathering in here. Ironically, we're going in to talk about sustainability. Others who were targeted weren't as diplomatic. <laughs> accusing the protesters of hypocrisy. I love them using their mobile phones because what are, what's in them? A bit of copper, a bit of silver, a bit of palladium, a bit of plastic. Where do they come from? I respect their right to protest, but I don't agree with their views. Mining's essential. Unable to block every entrance, protesters started resorting to spitting on the back of delegates' suits. It's quite disgusting techniques, actually. Many of them needing a police escort to get inside the building. Well, totally unnecessary. Uh, I'm not on to sure why people think it's uh, appropriate in any manner, shape or form. We have shown a hell of a lot of discretion, a hell of a lot of tolerance. An officer who hit his head on the pavement after being shoved limped away with the help of his colleagues. He was one of four officers injured in the chaos. This bloodied protester also needed help, along with a woman who was given morphine and loaded into an ambulance after being bowled over by a police horse. The CBD clash drawing criticism from the opposition. Daniel Andrews is allowing these protesters to take over Melbourne's central business district. The right to peacefully protest is very important and it's a key part of our democratic system, but at the same time, people have to obey the law. We need to see a return of those move on powers. Police were unable to arrest those hiding behind masks because the protest area had not been declared and will be ready if the demonstrators return. For what we saw today, uh, I would expect that we don't see it. Police won't be taking any chances, Pete. We expect to see more than 300 officers back here at first light tomorrow morning ready for those protesters. What they have planned for the second day of the conference is anyone's guess as they are not cooperating with police. Pete.